Yo, what is good? YouTube, Nightclub here, back with another video. Hope you guys are doing well. Just gonna be doing a quick uh, how I made this uh, Hyper Pop EDM slash Scene Core beat. It's called uh, X Def uh, 176 Tempo. I'm just gonna be playing the preview for it and then I'll jump into all the melody sounds I used and the uh, drum sounds I used. So, uh, yeah, let's jump into it. This is what it sounds like, the uh, hook part. So yeah, that's a good little preview. Um, also have an intro on this. Um, but I'll go over that at the end. Um, so first off, just the first sound, um, Analog Lab. I usually don't really use Analog Lab, um, but recently I just started using it. So here's the first sound out of that. And this sound, I think it was just like an ARP. So it's literally just some chords and then it's an ARP sound, so that's why you hear all the little notes um, going through there. So yeah, super simple, Analog Lab. Next, I have this bass from Serum. Um, and yeah, I just have Duck on this. So if we go over here to my bass, so you can see I have Duck. And this is just like lowering the signal. Um, it's just gating it, basically, gating the volume. So yeah, I literally just drew the bass notes in from my chords and then I added these little like high pitched accent like you can see here. Like it's still D sharp, but I just like, I don't know, it was just round. I usually don't even really do that, but it just felt right on this beat. So I just added those little things. Usually it would just stay down here. So yeah, that was the bass. Uh, next we'll jump into this rave lead from Spire. Yeah, nothing crazy there. Let's see, do I have any effects on that? Let's see, let's see. Yeah, I just have Shaper Box 3 on that. Uh, if you don't know what Shaper Box is, it's kind of like gross beat. You can do like filters and stutters and a bunch of different types of effects. Um, so yeah, just check that out. Uh, next, I think it's just a pad from Serum, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. And this is just basically copy and pasted the same chords from the ARP I used earlier on Ana Ana Analog Lab. Um, so yeah, just a nice dreamy pad. I really like using these types of pads because it just like, it fills up a lot of the beat, you know? Like it, 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 um, it just adds like, it makes it feel complete to me, at least in this case. So yeah, that's why I like using these like dreamy, almost like 1980s type of pads. Next I got another uh, sound from Spire. And as you can hear, all I have on this is just some delay, uh, some echo. So you can hear like, it's only one note, but then you hear the echo go out. Um, I like doing that a lot because it just adds uh, movement to the beat. It doesn't make it like so stale and like stiff sounding. Um, so yeah, that's that sound. Next we'll go on to some of the other synth sounds from like the other part of the hook. I have this other lead. I think it's the same exact lead, it's just a different sound. And again, I just have Shaper Box. Yeah, it's literally this lead, but I just made it into a new sound, different effects. And that's what that, and I do that a lot. Like, I don't try to like, sometimes I'll, I'll go in and try to, you know, do different melodies and stuff like that. But a lot of times I'd literally just copy and paste those super <laughs> live melody that I already really like and I worked so hard on it, And then I just like edit that. And sometimes that sounds good. Sometimes I will go in and just completely do, you know, remake some stuff like right here. I, just, I did the same thing. I literally just... This is the second part of the hook, by the way. I literally just copy and pasted the same sound, but it's just a different sound. I think this is like a bell or something. Like, see, like that was literally this exact same sound. Except, yeah, it's just, I just, or the same melody, not the same sound. But yeah, I just uh, put delay again on that, same effects. And I think that is pretty much all the uh, 
sounds for the all the melodic sounds the melodic elements i think i got everything down there all right next uh is basically the drums um if you've seen some of my other tutorials on these type of beats the drums are super simple and i mention this every time y'all are probably like sick of me mentioning that they're so simple but um yeah they are and usually um i usually do my drums in a pattern like if you use fo studio like it's it's usually all in one pattern and then I separate it. But for some reason in, in this beat, I just did it out almost like an EDM. A lot of EDM producers do this where they arrange their beat in the arrangement window instead of in the mixer or instead of in the channel rack. Um, to each their own. I, I, I love <laughs> making beats in the channel rack way more than I do here. But in this case, I just did it here just because it was so simple. Um, so yeah, I literally just went in. I like dragged in my uh my drums so let's see what those sound like here's the kick it's four on the floor kick nothing insane four on the floor means it just hits on every beat and then um some of my other let me just solo some of these sounds out and you can see here i kind of like faded some of them too um just so it wouldn't bleed out so much you want you you want to do that sometimes like with vocals and stuff so you don't hear like pop sounds or weird sounds. It's a crash. Impact. I think this is a snare. So yeah, nothing insane, super simple. Um yeah, it's just uh, I have the open hat hits every hit, the open hat pretty much hits when the bass is hitting, and then the rides are basically hitting um, when the kick is hitting. That's how I have this beat laid out, and then the open hats obviously it's like the one eighth or whatever. Um, it's almost like trap hi hats, but yeah, super simple on 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 that. Uh, let's jump into and again I just have like little effects impacts. You always want to have uh you know down lifters like. Any type of ear candy effects you, you can throw in, throw it in. That sounds good. Don't just throw it in just to have it. You know, like if it doesn't sound good, don't don't just throw it in and be like, oh, well, Nightclub told me to throw in impacts and downlifters no matter what. Like, no, make sure they sound good. Make sure they sound clean. Um, EQ them out. EQ them if you need to make them, you know, clean them up a little bit. But yeah, add uh, ear candy, add little impacts, add effects, all that. Uh, the intro. The intro, I pretty much, it's just a fruity love filter. A lot of people ask me about that. Like, how do you get that weird effect on, like, your glow beats or, like, some of your scene core beats? It's literally just fruity love filter. And that's, like, a FO Studio only um, effect. I like, I'm sure other, there's other, you know, filter um, VST effects you can use to get a similar effect. But on FO Studio, it's super simple. It's literally just, like, one one uh one plug in and then you just click the preset but yeah i just basically bounced out the beat you know the eight bars and then i just put the effect on it and that's what this sounds like yeah and then i put like the three little notes right here at the end and then it just like drops effect riser hear what that sounds like and it just drops in so yeah it's, it's, it's good to have those risers it builds um builds energy emotion all that um let me see if i'm trying to trying to remember if i'm forgetting anything but no i think i've pretty much covered everything um yeah the sounds uh or the the synths i used again analog lab i use serum i use vital i use spire um yeah basically all the all the the regular like edm type synths that you would think people use um i use them a lot um like i said i, I almost never use analog loud i know a lot of trap producers use that for like hyper pop um but i never really used it so i just tried it out for this beat and i i, I like that arp sound so i might try to use analog lab more um but yeah that's the that's the video guys glad uh hope you guys enjoyed it uh, if you have any questions, leave them down in the comments. If you guys want me to like break down any other uh, beats or types of beats, let me know. Um, and yeah, hope you guys take it easy. Take care, and I'll see y'all in the next video. Later.